Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're making a massive step forward with our farming setup. We're going to be finally getting full Fermento armor in today's episode. This took a freakishly long amount of time farming, so if you guys are new here and you aren't yet subscribed, consider doing so and leave a like, please. I've genuinely been farming way too much the last couple days, so I would greatly appreciate that. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Super quickly though, before we get fully underway today, if you do find yourself checking out in the Hypixel store, whether you're buying some Skyblock gems, a rank, or anything else that the store has to offer, don't forget to go and use my career code, CodeZach, that is Z-A-C-H, for an extra 5% off your purchase. And the great part is, it stacks with any ongoing sales. So save yourself 5%, it's great to support myself and the channel and i do greatly appreciate each and every one of you who does continue to use my code you guys are amazing but without further ado let's jump right into this one. Ooh, exciting stuff continuing on from yesterday's video i decided to basically farm my two mushroom plots and just dropped a burrowing spores this thing's selling for 20 mil right now are you kidding me i wish i was on a regular profile so bad sometimes i would sell this thing in a heartbeat oh my goodness but i can't I, that's the bizarre buy price 20 mil wow Wow, I would insta sell this thing. I'm gonna be honest, but I cannot. I cannot. So I will go ahead and put it on my necklace instead. Let's go into the hex. Hex. Uh reforges. Burrowing spores. Boom. What's that give me? Eight farming fortune, eight health. I will take that. It's actually pretty good. I am gonna want to get these recon though, as well as my whole set now that we have reforges on these things. So that's something to work towards in the future, as well as the rest of my farming tools. But uh, yeah, there we go. Rooted on our first piece of Lois equipment. That's pretty exciting stuff. So something they also add in the new update is by unlocking new plots, you actually get three extra farming fortune and five skyblock XP. Obviously, this is something we want to take care of. So I just went ahead and bought plot 20. Forgot to record it. Two stacks of compost and a compost bundle for my next one. These are starting to get expensive, but hopefully with the composter upgrades, this should be easier to get. So let's go ahead and buy another plot right here, though. You need to unlock an adjacent plot for it. Oh, this one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just want to have another row just in case we'll have to see what the farm metas are. But I think this is the best plot for me to go for. So plot 14, 3 farming fortune, 5 skyblock XP, and boom. There we go. I need to clear off these plots now, but that's an extra 10 skyblock XP and 6 farming fortune. So pretty nice. So as you can probably guess, I am in the full grind for the last two pieces of Fermento armor since the update rolled. And I came back to my little area here, and I have two, three NPCs that are pretty important. I do know Beth is here. It's just the old rates of crops. So she wants 79 uh, enchanted red mushroom blocks. I'm honestly waiting until I finish getting the rest of the fermento uh, mushrooms I need. So I'll worry about that after, gonna be completely honest. Then I got Seymour here. I've never seen them offering the velvet top hat. So that's a piece I definitely need for the museum. They also add the full Seymour set to the museum, which is pretty nice. And then we have Jacob back here. You might think, well, this NPC isn't really anything special. He's offering a flowering bouquet for completing his offer for 25 enchanted hay bales. And for those of you who don't know, that is one of the brand new reforged stones. And this one actually goes on equipment. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and grab that. Thank you very much. Uh, as you guys saw earlier, I did put the, the spore one. I, I can't remember what it's called. I wish I could. I put that on my lotus necklace. The flowering bouquet uh, isn't going to be as good of a stat boost, going to be honest. It's, it's just not as good as... The other one but we'll go ahead and put it on our bracelet i mean we may as well right so let's go into the hex uh let's see how much it gives me in comparison flowering bouquet though this thing's worth two mil so once again another decently expensive farming drop i just got there and that is gonna give me three farming fortune so i'll take it i'll have it on here for the time being and obviously when i get more of the the better one the rooted uh then i will replace it but may as well use it for the time being so Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate your business and uh, bring more of those back, please. I got, I got two more equipment pieces that need stuff. So some exciting stuff. I've been farming basically all day between mushroom, cactus, and a lot of sugarcane. I mean, I, I just have so much enchanted sugarcane now. It's I have like five stacks here and I think I have more enchanted sugar in my sack. So I will be selling the extra once we craft this set. And honestly, I think I have like 30 to 40 mil worth of sugarcane I can sell already, which I'm super excited about. So that's always fun. I've also gotten a ton more fermentos. Uh, now I'm sitting at three condensed when I need four in total for the chest plate and the leggings. So literally only need to drop nine more fermentos for this. And then also there is, however, the brand new talisman, the fermento artifact. This is going to be something that we grind towards once we do get our full fermento set. We need the crappie talisman and I'm like three crappies away from having enough for this. Uh, I have like 10 squash left over. So we have to grind two stacks of squash and then obviously eight more condensed fermento which is how much 
it took for this armor set. So that's a little bit disgusting, and we'll get to it though. We, we, we got some work to do. But something we can go ahead and do is actually upgrade our squash leggings. I'm actually really excited to do this. I do need to go ahead and actually grab out uh, half a stack of our enchanted sugarcane here. And now we have everything. I don't have enough enchanted cactus yet. Uh, I was gonna do the chest plate next. I'm six off. I literally just need to farm this one plot like three times and I have enough. But I figured we may as well go ahead and craft the leggings since I have all the materials now and I can take advantage of the extra fortune. So just to compare, while holding my fungi cutter yet again, uh, sitting at 888 farming fortune with this. So let's go ahead and change the squash leggings uh, into fermento leggings. I'm actually really pumped for this. Um, how's it go again? Okay, right. Let's put those there, there, and then I think it was 10 at the bottom of each, I want to say. Uh, it was not. Okay, was it 15? Uh, it's either 15 or 20. Okay, it's 20. Five, there we go. It's 20, okay, there we go. Nice. Bustling Fermento Leggings. Okay, this is actually huge, because now we're actually going to start seeing our fortune go up a decent amount as we get more pieces of Fermento. Uh, I'll have three pieces after this, so we only have one more piece left to go. Well, let's go ahead and craft it. Three, two, one. Boom. 637,000 carpentry XP for that. And Fermento Leggings. Look at the setup coming along when I hold out my Fungi Cutter now. 900 farming fortune. So we actually just went up 12 just from upgrading the leggings. And this will be even more once we get the chest plate because we're going to be getting that full set bonus of multiple pieces. So that's super exciting stuff. Um, I mean, all that's left to do is I need more mushrooms. I have all the nether wart. I need some fermento. I have all the sugar cane. And I need a little bit more cactus. So still a little bit of work to do, but man, we are actually ridiculously close to full fermento armor. So Tarwin has come to visit me again, and he's bringing another flowering bouquet, which is another one of those um, equipment reforges, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and actually pick that up because I desperately need more reforges for my equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my Lotus Belt. We'll hop into the Hex really quickly. It's nice that I'm actually getting a few of these, which is super nice. Uh, this should give us three more Farming Fortune. It's not much, and obviously I want the Rooted one from Burrowing Spores. So I have one of those, but um, I mean, these will be really great for the time being. And then obviously I'll replace them when I get more Burrowing Spores. So really happy about that though. So after hours of farming this morning, I believe I actually have all the materials required to finally go ahead and craft the Fermento chest plate. So I do need one more Enchanted Brown Mushroom block. So we're going to go ahead and actually just grab out some of our regular mushrooms, turn those into Enchanted. And then hopefully we should have enough after all this. Let's go ahead and see. We do. Beautiful. So we have 32 enchanted red mushroom blocks, 32 brown enchanted mushroom blocks, half a stack of enchanted sugarcane. I think I need 30 mutant nether wart. And then we also need our 25 enchanted cactus, just like so. And then let's go ahead and see what the... Oh my goodness. I'm not there, actually. I forgot about the fermento. Okay, I need to go grind for three more fermento. I'm just going to hop into the sugarcane farm. And then we should have everything required after that to finally craft a fermento chest plate. So I hopped into the sugarcane farm quick and actually got super lucky. I feel like I usually don't get three fermentos for harvesting this once, but that's exactly what we got. So I have nine more fermento. We can go ahead and craft our last piece of condensed fermento. So let's go and do that. We now have two of those. We have our nether wart sugarcane, our mushroom, and we need to go ahead and grab out our cactus just like so. So we should have everything. Uh, let's go and grab our chest plate. I can't really remember what the recipe is again. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Chest plate, sugar cane, cactus. And, okay, I think I got chest plate, sugar cane. We put our cactus here at the bottom. And we go ahead and place our mushrooms on the side like so. Our two condensed fermento. And then we need our 30 mutant nether wart. There we go. Okay, fermento chest plate. Right off the bat, just from the reforge, we're going to get an extra two farming fortune. And I'm excited to see what our farming fortune is going to be at with the full set now. Let's go ahead and put this on. Ooh, okay, there's actually an achievement for that. Forbidden Fruit, wear a full set of Fermento armor. There we go, we have that. And holding out our shirt cane out, we have 950 farming fortune. Okay, I feel like I had, like, way less than that. Like, probably 903 when I was holding out my shirt cane out before. So that's kind of insane. But there we go, a full set of Fermento. I'm going straight to the museum. I want to get my Skyblock XP for this. Go ahead and take off the armor set really quickly. Hop into the museum, armor, shift click that in, beautiful, that's also worth a ton apparently, how much is this set worth? Set is worth 110 million coins apparently, clean basically, I don't really have any fancy additions on it. I do want to get this armor set recommed at some point just for the extra farming fortune, I think it'll be like an extra maybe 8 to 10 across the entire set, so that's going to be super nice. 
But yeah, I mean, oh, let's go ahead and claim our reward actually for that. Um, okay, museum rewards. Extra eight skyblock XP, don't mind if I do. We should actually be really close to level 267. We are, so that's super nice. But yeah, we have the max farming gear now, besides a better reforge on it. We want the mossy reforge. I think you can get that from NPCs when they visit, so we're gonna have to wait for that. Yeah, I haven't really seen any yet, so I will keep my eyes peeled. But yeah, really happy that we do finally have full fermento armor. Man, what a grind. So while I was grinding for all those fermentos, I mainly farmed sugarcane. It just seemed like the easiest to farm in terms of the way I have it set up. Kind of just flow in between the rows. And by the time I was done, uh, it was mostly regrown in the front. So maybe I lost out on a little bit of sugarcane there. But honestly, it was good enough for me. And in return, I have nearly an extra four stacks of enchanted sugarcane. I might actually, if I go into my sacks here and we can take out all this enchanted sugar, there should be a decent amount of enchanted sugarcane. It is beautiful. I'm going to save this 20 because if I get visitors who want some, or maybe I'll just fill up my composter with some more later. But I have four stacks of Enchanted Sugarcane. I'm more than okay with just selling because I do have the maxed uh, farming tool for it. or already have a maxed out Turing Sugarcane hoe, and I don't need any more for the Fermento Armor or any other crafts that I'm currently aware of. And if I do, I will hop back into the farm. But we can go ahead and sell this. I'm currently sitting at 62.6 mil. Each stack now is worth 8.2 million coins since the price upgrade. It was 3.2 mil before, so that's actually crazy. So 8, 16, 24, 32 mil worth of sugar cake right there. And now we're sitting at 95 million coins. So pretty nice considering I wasn't even really focused on trying to get that. That's genuinely just some... And passive money based on the grind I was doing. So sugarcane is definitely a good money making method, that's for sure. Uh, these four mutant nether warts I will save. I do not have the maxed out nether wart tool. I do want to max out all the farming tools, so we have a lot of work to do there still. But basically now we can kind of start focusing on making some money as well as actually grinding for composter upgrades. I want to max out our composter. So yeah, I guess this is my next area of attention as well as like giving stuff to visitors for more copper for all the new books and stuff like that. So we still have a lot to do on the garden, but full fermento set is now checked off. So that is going to do it for today's episode of the Iron Man profile. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Full fermento armor on the Iron Man. That's uh, pretty impressive. Let me know what armor set you guys are rocking on the garden update so far. If you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys are new around here. Don't forget to go and use my code when you're checking out on the Hypixel store, code Zach, and join my Discord link in the description. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out. Thank you.